May I be of assistance? Um, my phone is out of juice and I gotta call Matthew. Might I suggest you use the house phone or as your generation calls it, the landline? <laughs> Buchanan residence. What's up with you? Did my little brother not swoon when you declared your undying love for him? I haven't seen him yet. And by the way, that's supposed to be a secret. From who? I was hoping his parents would take me to see him this afternoon, but they've been busy with God knows what. Now, you leave Bo and Nora to me. You know, someone in this house should be able to be with the person that they love. I think this David Bickers person might be better suited to life in Landview than London. Is he making trouble already? Oh, dear. But I can smell it coming. Once you find out what he's up to, you must nip it in the bud immediately. Now, I need to arrange a call between Mr. Clint Buchanan and his wife. Is she available? Hey. Hey. Bad time? No, no. In fact, I've been looking for you all day. Oh, I decided to go out for a walk. I think I've seen every museum, gallery, and war memorial between here and Trafalgar Square. Wish you'd have told me. I'd have gone with you. Well, that would have kind of defeated the purpose. I was avoiding you. Okay. Um, so, after everything that we said to one another last night, now you don't want to be around me? Just the opposite, Pa. I believe what Auntie Nora is trying to say is if she's left alone with you, she's gonna jump your bones. You need to learn to knock. But if I knocked, I wouldn't walk in on anything good. Damn it, Vic! <clears throat> Buchanan, Dad, please. I know your name, all right? You have to stop eavesdropping. And no more of those little observations there, Icky. Okay, I'll back off. But are you sure that's what you want me to do? It is. More than anything. How can I be certain that's what you want? After all, you both spent years burying your burning love for each other. What? If I don't look out for you, you might end up old and alone. Look, this is none of your business. You might end up old and alone too, Nora. And still married to Clint. Mr. Buchanan on the line for you, ma'am. Tell him she's busy. Thank you, Neville. I have to take this. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. Dave, come here. Dave, David, I'm warning you, you stay out of this. Well, it's a little too late. I heard Nora say that she loved you last you night. You heard a very small part of a very large conversation. What I actually heard was Nora say that she loved you, too, which I'm guessing means... No. Someday, you know, the good Lord willing, I'm going to have a private moment, and you're not going to be there. Yeah, well, until that day comes, the point is, what are you going to do about it? I don't know, I'm still trying to figure it out. Oh, come on. You and Nora belonged with each other. Anybody can see that. What about Clint? Better lock up the shotguns before you break the news. I'm not sure there's going to be any news to break. Look, whatever you do, don't be like me and Dorian. Too giving, generous, crazy people in love, but too stubborn to say that they belong with each other and therefore destined to always be apart. I mean, sure, Dorian and I are beautiful, glamorous, and fantastic in bed together, but we're not good role models. Learn from us, Pa, no matter how much you may want to, don't be like us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do you care so much? I want to see my old daddy happy. Oh, and I can't wait to start calling Nora Big Mama. It's good to hear your voice. I'm so sorry this is taking so long. So how's Matthew? Well, we went to go see him yesterday. Again. That did not go well. well then let me help. Just tell me what you need and I'll do it. Listen, you've got your hands full with Natalie and Jessica. I don't think you need to complicate your life with my problems, too. Nora, your problems are my problems, and we need to start working them out together. My apologies. Mrs. Buchanan is currently using the telephone, and maybe some time before she's through. Oh, that's
That's okay. Not like Matthew's going anywhere. I don't know what this is about. You and Bo keep hitting the wall with Matthew. It's time for reinforcements. Well, can you think of anything that wouldn't involve you flying over here? Nope, that's why I'm coming to London. No, Clint, you, you can't do that. Uh, I, I thought things were still crazy with Jared. They are, aren't they? Uh, yeah, kind of. Honey, I think you and I just have to face the facts that uh, you're needed there, and I have to stay here for a while anyway. Look, if Jessica needs me, or Natalie needs me, or anybody else needs me, I can turn around and fly back. Nora, you're my wife. I want to help you through this. Plus, I miss you. I miss you, too. I, I promise it, it won't be much longer, okay? Okay. I love you. Me, too. Are you, uh, through here? Actually, there is one more piece to this puzzle. Destiny! Hit it. I need to see Matthew. I miss him, and he needs to know that I haven't forgotten about him. I'd like your permission to go and see him, but I'm running out of time, so if you're not ready to give it, I have to go without it. Do we need to talk about this? No, I don't like that. You want to see Matthew? Yeah. Then go right ahead and go see him. I, uh, told Sean I felt like I... Greg is the reason Sean woke up, and Matthew needs to know that. I know you're worried that the doctors in Seattle wouldn't be able to handle Matthew's operation, but now they won't have to. My brother can do it. Sweetie, we just don't want anything bad to happen to Matthew. Miss Buchanan, something bad already happened to him, and there's still time to make it better. I'm gonna have to tell Matthew about Sean, even if it'll make him angry at you. Oh, well, a little late to worry about that now. Well, we can stand a little more heat. You just keep looking out for him, Destiny. Like you always have. 